Beyond, I'm the Lorax. Guardian of the forest. I speak for the trees. Hey, Mr. Mises here. In this video, I'm gonna talk about a problem that we would use a tree diagram to do the probabilities. So um, again, I'm only gonna do one example here. So it's really quick, uh, quick problem. This is number 36 and 37 from page 366 in the BVD book. Now, um, what I'm gonna say real quick about, about tree diagrams is that they're a little bit, they're different than Venn diagrams in really what type of problem that we're dealing with. So in a Venn diagram, you can all, you can pretty much know you're gonna use a Venn diagram when the word both comes up and you have two events that are not disjoint. Okay, so if you have something in common, um, that's when you're gonna use a Venn diagram. Now a tree diagram occurs when you have two events, one that actually branch, kind of, you can think of it as it branches off from the other one occurring. Um, so a lot of times you can think of that as, as, as they're kind of like they're dependent events, um, depending on what happens in the previous event. So it's, it's, it, they're kind of, in this case, um, um, they're kind of dependent. So let's, and I say kind of, cause we want to take it, take it with a grain of salt, but think about that. What, what, what event occurs, the second event depends on the first event. Okay, so let's let's take a look at what I mean. So um, a private college report contains these statistics: seventy percent of incoming freshmen attend public schools, seventy-five percent of public school students who enroll as freshmen eventually graduate, ninety percent of other freshmen eventually graduate. So think of it this way: um, seventy-five percent of public school students who enroll as freshmen eventually graduate. So in order for us to know that probability, we have to know that those students came in as freshmen public school students. Okay, so here's the thing that happens. We can either have uh, a 70% of the incoming freshmen attended public schools, which means that 30% did not attend public schools. So of those that attended public schools, 75% of those graduate, but 25% don't. However, if they came from another type of school, a private school, for, for instance, 90% of those graduate. So you see how there's a difference in graduation rate depending upon whether they were freshmen from a public school or freshmen from a private school. So that's when we're gonna use a tree diagram. So let me take, let me show you how we're gonna do this. Um, let me go and draw my tree diagram. So I have, there's, there's, these are the events that are occurring, okay? I can either come from a public school. Oh, I should probably use something other than PS, right? Okay, let's say public. Now, if we came from a public school, that's 70%, so that's 0.7. Private school students made up 30% of freshmen. Now, from there, I could have how what percent of these end up graduating? Well, 75% graduate and 25% do not graduate. Okay, I'll put DG for do not graduate. Now, for the private school students, 90% of these graduate whereas only 10% do not graduate. So you see how we can branch off from those different um, probabilities dependent. So the first question is, is there any evidence that a freshman chances to graduate may depend upon what kind of high school? Well, of course there is. That's the point of drawing a tree diagram is that there is some sort of dependence going on. In fact, 75% of students that graduate Okay, only 75% of the public school students graduate, whereas 90% of the private school students graduate, which means that there is definitely some dependence upon what school you came from. All right, so the answer to this is yes, and the explanation I just gave. What percent of freshmen eventually graduate? Well, we can graduate if we came to a pub from a public high school. In this case, the probability from coming from a public high school and graduating is 0.7 times 0.75. So all we're gonna do is multiply these two probabilities. 
We can also graduate coming from a private high school, and that probability is 0 0.30 times 0 0.90. All right, so this probability and this probability, let's go ahead and add those up together, 0 0.7 times 0.75. Shrink this here. Um, wow, that probably just covered me up here. Uh, 0 0.7 times 0.75 is going to give us 0.525. Okay, so 0.525, and then uh, 0 0.3 times 0 0.9 is 0 0.27. So what is the percent, what percent of freshmen eventually graduate? Well, we can either graduate coming from public or graduate coming from private. So we're going to add these two together and we're going to get 0.525 plus 0.27. It's going to give us 0 0.795. 0 0.795 which is asking for a percent, so 79.5% of students graduate from that college. All right, does that make sense? We're adding these two together because those are the two that graduate. What percent of, now let's look at 37, what percent of students who graduate from college attend a public high school? So what we're asking here is what percent of students gra who graduate from college, what's the probability that they went to a public school given that they graduated. What percent of students who graduate, okay, so they, we already know they've graduated, attended a public school? So the probability that this happens is the probability that they went to public school and, and graduated divided by the probability that they graduated. All right, so let's let's take a look at what that is. Um, the probability that they went to public school and they graduated. So they went to public school and they graduated is right here. Okay, that's public school graduate. That probability is this right here. Okay, so 0 0.525 divided by the probability that they graduated, that's going to be this one plus this one, 0 0.525 plus 0 0.27. Okay, so then we're just going to calculate that in our calculator. Let's go ahead and do that here. I view it. I know this is probably getting behind me here, but I want to be able to see what I'm doing here. 0 0.5 five to five divided by parentheses point five to five plus point two seven yes you're probably saying yeah mr Mises, you could have just gotten the answer from b and we get point six six zero three three seven so we'll say point six six zero point six six which we'll say is sixty six percent okay so sixty six percent of students who graduate from college attended a public high school in this in this college, okay? So um, this, just so you know, this is really not something you need to really remember, but some teachers teach it this way. This thing right here is called Bayes' Rule or Bayes' Formula. Bayes' Rule, Bayes' Formula. It's basically just um, taking, taking this conditional probability and adding the two that we get and, you know, taking, the, taking the, the, the intersection dividing by those. So this is how we calculate a conditional probability using a tree diagram. This is how we use a tree diagram of probabilities. This is all I have to say about that. This is me saying goodbye. Bye.